Have you ever heard of a single malt scotch with a vintage? Well, now you have, because here at Whiskey Fest 2008 in San Francisco, we'll be examining a scotch that is so distinctive that similar to wine, each release is labeled with the year of its vintage. The driving force of Glenrothes is the Berry Brothers and Rudd Company, the oldest wine merchant in the world, who've been supplying aristocracy and royalty with fine wine and vintage champagne and sherry for over 310 years. They've taken that expertise and applied it to making single malt Scotch whiskey. What makes Glenrothes different is it's the only single malt Scotch that doesn't have an age statement on the label. Most single malt Scotches have a 10 years old or a 15 years old or an 18 years old. But our approach is different. We're all about vintages. Maturity is more important than age. We believe that the whiskey should be bottled when it's ripe, not when it reaches a certain age. And vintage, just like champagne or fine wine, it's limited. And once it's gone, it's gone forever. Well, my favorite scotch is Glen Rothes. Um, I, I enjoy the, you know, the vintage. I enjoy how it's uh, not released until it's ready, as opposed to just the concept of, you know, putting out a particular year, or I like the fact that they're choosy about when they release things. Um, it means that it's the best possible scotch available. It kind of isolates the exact year that the, the whiskey was produced, and, and you know, it's, it makes it a little bit more unique and stand out. It's, it's a lot like wine, where you talk about the certain vintage. You get distinct characteristics, you know? Everything tastes uh, different, and it's very smooth and very interesting. The Select Reserve is the multi-vintage. It's our house style. It represents the four main flavor profiles of, of the Glenrothes. Berry fruit, vanilla, citrus, and hints of spice. Wonderfully uh, complex, yet balanced. A general reaction to the quality, it's very good. Um, you know it's good before you're able to split it up into its different strata, but it's, it's phenomenal. The vintages have different personalities, a bit like you and me. The 91 is lots of berry fruits, butterscotch and vanilla. I think it's fantastic. I mean, I drink 91 all the time. True. I've never had a Glenrothes I didn't like. Every single one I've had, the 91, uh, the Select Reserve, and the 87, which I have at home, which I've just been informed is no longer available. The 1985 is much richer, uh, nice and creamy with dried fruits. Uh, this particular Scotch is, is uh, profoundly complex. It's got a lot of heart, but it's got a wonderful finish, a very long finish. So this is the uh, this is the kind of stuff that our people will like to drink, and I'm one of our people. Well, it's a really rich, incredibly spicy whiskey. So very good. I'd certainly recommend it to anybody, including myself. <laughs> very complex. Some good fruit flavors in there. I'm, this is the 1975, which. I probably can't even afford a bottle of it, but I wish I could. It's very tasty. Um, as I do like the 75 the best. Well, I was first introduced uh, when my girlfriend actually bought me a bottle for my birthday of the 87. And, uh, you know, since then it's actually been one of my favorite single malls. At this point, there's no question that the Glen Rothes has become my favorite. I, I found that Glen Rothes was a nice bridge from my taste in bourbon to, to my taste in scotch now. Not only is it, you know, amazing on its own, but it's easy to mix with as well. That's it. It's one of the great space ciders. It truly is. I mean, nobody will dispute that. I would have to say that one of my favorite scotches is the Glen uh, It's very smooth, it's very palatable, uh, and it's very approachable. A little bit about, I love the finish. It's, it's, it's just very polished, and it's, it's just easy. Just smooth over the tongue, it's, it's not rough. Definitely, Glen Rothes has been one of our best favorites. Looking to find it locally so we can actually take it home. Uh, Glen Rothes by far is one of our premier selections. You know what, I like it. Very complex, I thought. Um, it's not just uh, one note, you know. It really hangs on the mouth a little bit. It stays on there. It's a really nice scotch that, that you can savor, you know, and really enjoy long day of work, you know, you come home, it's a nice thing to sort of, you know, relax to, so. I hope you've enjoyed your time with us at Whiskey Fest 2008, as we've examined one of the most distinctive Scotch whiskeys, the Glen Rothes. For more information on the Glen Rothes, please visit theglenrothes.com.